What's up guys, it is Chris back with another watch unboxing. As you know, I like to bring as many new brands to the channel as possible. It's really the way I collect. Also, I love new watches. I love different brands, looking at new watches and all different styles of watches. Uh, it's just something that is inherent in the way that I collect. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoy it. So here we are with another brand. This is D1 Milano. This is a brand that primarily makes integrated bracelet watches. And this is, of course, an integrated bracelet watch. Uh, you can see it comes in a very nice cardboard box. Uh, the interior has what appears to be like a leatherette on the inside. This is the D1 Milano Atlas. So uh, if you go to D1 Milano's website, and I will of course put a link to that website in the description below, they have tons of watches that are actually quartz. Uh, this is one of their automatics. So uh, inside the box, of course you get the watch. There is a little booklet in here, I believe, and the warranty card. Uh, there is a loyalty number program. I guess they have a loyalty program. Yep. Uh, you can earn rewards and then uh, the user guide here. So I'll just put this aside. So that's all that's in the box. And of course, here is the watch. Uh, I will peel off this sticker that is on the glass. It has a very deep, very blue dial and there is uh, orange accents on the minute track and an orange seconds hand. And like I said, of course, this is an integrated bracelet watch. And this is from their automatic line. They have just a few automatics, as I mentioned. And uh, this is an NH35 in here. Uh, on the hand tag, hand tag here, it has just the uh, model number uh, and it says D1 Milano. Um, fully integrated bracelet, double butterfly clasp, screwed in case back this actually i believe has a screwed in crown and it does it's very very grippy crown uh the crown is not signed but it is uh, the shape of the case essentially uh that hexagon uh shape and it does have a screwed in crown you have 50 meters of water resistance and the indices are applied uh very nice stick hands with a high polish, so a black polish on the hands and really a black polish on all of the indices. So this is a dress watch. It does come in at 41.5 millimeters wide. So a pretty good size for my wrist. It does wear just a smidge bigger because of the style of the case, of course. It is a cushion case. It is an integrated bracelet case. So it does wear a little bit bigger than 41 millimeters, I would say. Probably around the 42 millimeter, so it's 40, it splits the difference. Uh, and it's a little bit bigger. Uh, and 11 millimeters thick, of course, you have a sapphire crystal, and like I mentioned, a screwed in case back. So on the case back here, it just says Italian design in very small script at the bottom. It says automatic collection, D1 Milano, analog watch, and then 2020 up at the top. There's a serial number as well. Um, very cool. This has um, push pin and I don't know if it's push pin and collar and I will find out when I do a sizing for this bracelet. Overall, the finishing on the watch is really nice. On, on the bezel, you have some polishing and then brushed elements. There's a little bit of bead blasting in between those polished elements on the sides of the uh, bezel itself. It's all a one piece bezel, obviously. Then there is uh, brushing that goes down through the case, down through the sides of the actual bracelet. There's some chamfered edges along the bracelet. However, the bracelet is primarily brushed all in the same direction uh, as you can see. So it does look like it is uh, brushed even on the other side. So the whole entire bracelet is brushed. So first impressions, I would say that the watch is actually made very well. The bracelet feels very smooth. All of the brushing goes in one direction across all of the links. There is a chamfered edge. 
So there is an edge that is uh, beveled on the edges of all the links. However, it is as well pal uh, uh, brushed, not polished. So uh, it looks like it will hold up pretty well. A lot of bracelets that have a lot of polishing on them do get scratched pretty quickly. This probably will hold up pretty well. Uh, you have push pin and collar system on the bracelet. There is some brush uh, uh, polished elements on the bezel itself. Now the bezel and the case itself uh, are obviously inspired by the Royal Oak or uh, and or the Nautilus and probably a little bit of the Vacheron uh, overseas, especially in profile, you could see that. Uh, you would be hard pressed to uh, immediately recognize this as a D1 Milano. It does look like, um, you know, somewhat of a baby of those brands. If those brands got together and had a baby, this could be, uh, this could be their uh, love child. Um, this is an affordable watch. This comes in at around $625. However, they offer discounts on the website. And uh, in general, uh, you know, th these watches with an NH35 uh, automatic and from a brand like D1 Milano who make a lot of integrated bracelet watches, I think that's a pretty good price. I don't think it's out of the ballpark. Uh, and for them to make an integrated bracelet with this level of finishing, um, it's pretty good. Uh, this does have a screwed in crown and it is 50 meters water resistant, so you can get this wet. It is not, I would say, a sports watch. You would not go diving with something like this. Uh, however, it definitely looks really, really good and it works as a dress watch really, really well. So really quickly, we'll do a wristwatch check. Today I am wearing a Crafter Blue Hyperion. This is such a cool watch. It is uh, a very big watch. It's 45 millimeters, but uh, wears really good. Looks like, a, talking of love, love child, this looks like a Captain Willard, uh, Seiko Captain Willard and a Panerai uh, sub had a baby and this was the result. Uh, very handsome watch uh, and extremely well made as well. Uh, so I will take this watch off and I will throw on the D1 Milano and here is the D1 Milano on my seven and a half inch wrist. Very good looking watch. It's just a really good looking watch and very comfortable to wear. It fits very nicely on my wrist. I think that this could fit a, a wrist probably, uh, you know, maybe even smaller than mine, six and a half inches and up it probably fits somebody who has an eight inch wrist pretty well as as well um just in general i'm pretty impressed with this watch i, I really like this dial the dial is really nicely colored that blue is something very different uh from most blues that you see most blues are a little bit vibrant this is almost a slate blue sort of color it's a deep bluish aqua color and then the uh, orange accents really play well it's not overstated at all uh, this is their atlas line as i mentioned they make a skeleton version of this watch and a few other colors uh, the skeletonized version also gets an nh35 however it's not really a skeleton i think just the dial is a skeleton and that one is just a little bit more expensive than this However, uh, if, you know, obviously if I was choosing, I would choose this watch uh, because I think it just looks really good. It's a very handsome watch. And when I saw it on their website, uh, I immediately knew this is the one that I wanted to review. They also make an ultra thin version of these watches and they are a quartz movement, but they are very, very thin. I believe they're either six or eight millimeters thick, very, very thin watches uh, sit very close to the wrist. And that's when obviously a quartz movement watch can't be beaten those are actually very affordable uh even when compared to this uh, i believe those are in the few hundred dollar range two to three hundred dollar range somewhere around there now uh, i will be wearing this over the next few weeks and i will definitely give you guys a full report on what i think of this watch first impressions are that i think it's very nicely made and i really love the dial um, but I will uh, definitely be wearing it over the next few weeks and I will let you guys know what I think. Anyway, if you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon, it is super helpful for the channel. Please don't forget to follow me on Watch Chris Blog on Instagram. 
There are some links in the description below. Those links are to Amazon. You do not need to buy anything that I have linked to. If you buy anything, uh, it helps goes to supporting the channel. It does not affect your prime benefits or cost you anything extra. Uh, however, it does support the channel. Anyway, thank you for logging on. I will catch you guys in the next video.